What's going on guys? Welcome back. Uh, okay, so you guys probably heard it in the last video, but TLDR on the sad car news, I backed into a poll. Hold on, hold on. It was like a concrete poll. It was one of the yellow ones. They. <coughs> hi -oh! It was one of those yellow concrete, it was like a post, a concrete post. I backed into it, it was dark and raining, and my rear cam uh, was like foggy and I couldn't really see, so I was trying to back up. Didn't see it. Uh, I was like, oh man, big big shocks because I hit the thing. And then I went to the first, I woke up at 7 a.m. this morning to drop my car off at 7.30 just to, to that the first auto body shop I could find. They gave me an estimate of $2,400. I was like, this is too much, I can't pay it. I went to, I, I drove around for a bit, found another guy. Uh, it was a cool guy. He had two dogs at the shop. So I was like, this is it. This has got to be the place. And he was like, we can fix it up and uh, make sure the, the trunk closes and that the, the bumpers, you know, uh, you know, fix the bumper out for like three, between three and 500 bucks. And I was like, okay, still sucks that I just literally made this dumb, dumb mistake last night and it's going to cost me three to 500 bucks, but significantly better than 25, $2,400 or whatever. And I never, I've, I don't think I've ever had a, a car like accident before. So I don't have collision. Didn't really, never really need it, and never really. Uh, I like Cryptic Command, and I also like Sphinx's Revelation. Did he throw in a dog? No, he didn't. But I'm glad because I don't like pet owners who give up their pets. So, yeah, that's what I said. With, oh, it's like twenty four hundred dollars. I'm like, dude, this Prius cost me nine thousand dollars seven years ago. So, yeah, I'm not really too keen on paying a third. Of what I paid for it. Ooh, an Ashiok? <gasps> Ooh, Cryptic Command into Ashiok? Oh, baby. Uh, what are you looking for graphic designers to do? Uh, I would just want to design some t-shirts, basically. Um, I'm trying to get some t-shirts up in the merch store that people keep asking me about. And I'm going to take Ashiok. And, oh, Watery Grave? Booyah! I'm going to take this Watery Grave. I've started to, to 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 philosophize whether I really like Sultai. Denmark, five months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Or, alternatively, if I really just dislike red and white cards. That's the question. Please see the whisper I sent regarding the graphic design work. I will. Hey, you like dags? Dags? Hey, you like dags? Oh, dogs. Yeah, I like dogs. I want to take this miscalculation. I think it's probably better than dismember. It's a counter spell. And let's see what the. Okay, okay, good to know. I don't know what kind of designs I need. I'm gonna have to like make some designs up first and figure out what we're doing in that regard. Ooh, a daze. How many Gotham's can we play? I feel like I need to download Snatch and watch it today. I haven't seen Snatch in years. That is a solid movie. I like Flooded Strand too, especially because it gets our watery grave. I would like to play green so that we can potentially get this out on turn two, but I could take this and do a, a Gotham stipulation. We haven't done a stipulation yet. Also, stipulations are definitely open for uh, for Legacy Q if you guys are if you guys are interested in that. I'm gonna take the days. This pack seems like doo doo. Let me know if you have any ideas for some sketches. You might be up for it. But just a full-time job of coding, so it might not be the fastest turnaround. I appreciate it, no beats. I will keep that in mind. Ooh, Tri Builder. Ooh, Reflecting Pool. Ooh, Mimic Vat actually could be good here because we might have a lot of removal. We have none so far, but we might have some. What, this is a big map? Ooh. 
What is this? What are you linking me here, Lamagoyf? I don't know what to take. I'm going to take this. It wouldn't necessarily have to be magic themed. It's not, I mean, it's just literally like, oh, wow, that's great. Yeah, no fun. I'll definitely take a look. That sounds cool. Baleful Strix. Take the Garrick. I was definitely tempted to take the Garrick. Oh, Slush Joke. Oh, Factor Fiction. I got excited. I got real excited. Conversely, we can take Crux of Fate and with Mimic Fat. I'm going to take the Factor Fiction. Our deck's looking like hot gas right now. But isn't all gas hot? This came back. Sphinx's Mother Truck and Revelation came back. Well, if a Flooded Strand or a Godless Shrine comes back, we are in business. Oh, Magister War. All right, so each player votes for Grace or Condemnation. If Condemnation gets more votes or the vote is tied, destroy all creatures other than this. That's pretty good. So we can always do that. Yeah, this card's bonkers. Flooded Strand, Godless Shrine. One time. One time. Thanos? Wow. What a surprise seeing Thanos subscribe. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. What a solid... Is it Sleight of Hand or is it Toxic Deluge? I like having a Toxic Deluge effect. I'm going to take the Deluge. I think it's more rare. I think we can get other things like, like Sleight of Hand. And we also have a ton of card drawing already with Factor Fiction. We can cycle Miscalculation. Baleful Strix gets us a card. Cryptic Command... Sphinx's Revelation uh, tends to get you some cards in your hand. Hmm. Hmm. Locust God, also a pretty cool option. Doesn't have haste, though. I'll just take the Martial Coup. I think I'm more likely to play these blue cards, these white cards, than grabbing a random red card. Oh, I like a Reflecting Pool. Dang, both the the, Mar the Goblet Shrine and the, the Flooded Strand didn't come back. I believe Taun is hungry in his office. What up, Magic Marker Studios? I like God. That's a really random... That's a that's a, that's the most random chat thing you could say by itself without any context. Oh, Scrubland? Scrubble Double? It's not Lyra. It's not Dreadshade. It could be Jace. It could be Night Vale. I think we're taking the Scrubland. Drowned Cradle Combs. Opposition's good, but we are not an opposition deck. I just want the fixing here. I like Riffling Cloudskate a lot. I'm going to take Catacombs, though. Sorry, I was trying to get you to pick the Lotus, the Locust God, while I was pouring. No, I get it. I, I knew what you were doing. It, at no point did was it lost on me. I'm just saying the text "I like God" is very funny, just sitting there in the chat by itself. I get it. Whenever I'm on the watch, I'm on the the Reddit watch, uh, the watch subreddit, and. Every time I'm there, I'm always I'm always also curious 
uh, what people do because they'll be like, got my new Patek Philippe, and it's like a seventy thousand dollar Patek Philippe, or like, uh, you know, a thirteen thousand dollar Rolex, or you know, whatever, a Longines or a Breitling or whatever. Um, and I'm always like, what do you do? Where you can just be like, just pick this bad boy up, and it's like it's a they do watch shots, right? Like they'll do a picture of their watch, but it'll be like in their car most of the time, and then you can see like the BMW logo on the steering wheel, and you're like. Hmm. Well, that's fascinating. Oh, a Tundra is super nice. I'm gonna take a Tundra. I like a Doomblade too. I'm gonna they, like these are these are premier lands though. Having a Tundra, a Scrubland, and a Watergrave means we can get any combination with a fetch land. Dark Slick Shores. I like Compulsive here though. I'm not I'm not super high on these. I like lands that can always come into play untapped. Drown Catacomb pretty much fits that bill. Oh, what's worn and wound .com? Is this a... Uh, do I actually have this bookmarked? I do not. Oh, IWCs are nice. Oh, I like... I like Demon Lord Bells and Lock way more than most people do, I think. I think the Jace and the Phyrexian Metamorph are better. But that doesn't mean it's it's more fun. I'm going to take the Metamorph. Metamorph is just super versatile. And we have a lot of card draw. I don't think we're super needing a Jace. Super needing a Jace. Is Resto good with anything? Hmm, maybe. Demon Lord Belschnickel. <laughs> oh, God. It gets me every time, dude. I'm going to take the Nimble Obstructionist, I guess. I do like Resto Metamorph. Do we have any Resto targets other than that? Baleful Strix is fine. Then it makes Resto a Baleful Strix. We can blink this. I think Resto is probably better in the long run. Ooh, Creeping Tarpet, Hollowed Fountain, and Ancestor Vision. I think we're in the right colors here. My god. Oh, it's an angel, isn't it? Oh, dang it. This is also a CMC6, not a CMC4. So, wrecked. Alright, let's take something. I'm going to take Ancestral, I think. No, I like Hollowed Fountain better. I like Hollowed better than Tarpit, again, because it comes into play untapped, which is extremely relevant in certain situations. Coalition Relic. Doesn't seem terrible here. I like Coalition Relic, actually. Hmm. Thanos, I'm pretty sure that's a garage, not a home office, just so, just to be clear. I think Lyra is definitely playable here now that we have Scrubland, Tundra, Hall, and Fountain. I think we're basically just straight Esper. Which makes me feel even better about taking this Hall and Fountain. I do like Wavemaster, but like if you look at the deck, like we have Baleful Strix... Ashiok and Metamorph. Those are the only cards that... Wow, the Cloudscape came back? Good lord, you people have no respect. Wow! Oh my god, we're having it all. Dark Slick Shores came back? I'll take a Linvala for the sideboard. I'll take this. Now we can splash Olivia. Yeah, you're probably not getting played, but whatever, you're a blue guy. Look, my sideboard's just it Dijins and Efreets. It's pronounced Jin, not Dijin, you stupid idiot. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, Grave Daddy and Elspeth Daddy. Mommy. Mommy Daddy? This got real weird. Bell Schnickel deems you admiral. <laughs> I can't handle it, man. Oh, God. The office is the best thing that's ever been given to us as a civilization. I don't know what to take here, man. This is actually pretty tricky. God. We got all that is good in the world and all that is evil in the world right here. Uh, it's pronounced Dijini. <laughs> yeah, that's how I say it. Old Dijini. This is actually a reasonably tough pick. Sort by color. We actually have almost more black cards than white cards. These are going to break even. This... That's going to break even with itself. So this is one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I'm going to take the Belschnickel, I guess. I think oh, Grave Titan's probably stronger. It does more. Oh god, that, I'm so I'm so ha I'm so on the fence about that pick though. I like Wrath of God, but I don't think we need it. We already have Magister of Worth and Toxic Deluge. I like Mindstone here. Vendillion Click is okay. Yeah, we took Grave Titan because it just has more synergies with things like Metamorph, Rift, uh, Restoration Angel, and also Mimic Vat. Which is pretty nice. I think I think the same can be said about Elspeth, though. Like, I think the, the percentage of games you cast Elspeth and lose are still pretty low. I, I like Mindstone better than Vendillion Click, I'll be honest. I don't like Vendillion Click very much. I, th I feel like that's controversial, but I don't care. I don't like it. I'm going to take Archmage. That's an easy pick. I think we're actually out of dual lands to take. We have we have two of our three uh, duels. We have two of our three fetches. The Godless Shrine is gone. The Flooded Strand is gone. And we have not seen a Underground Sea. So we need, Underground Sea or Polluted Delta would be fantastic, but I don't foresee that happening. I like Go for the Throat here because we don't have that much spot removal. Oh god, I love a dismiss, especially when we already have Cryptic Command. Heavy breathing. And we have Mindstone, so we can go turn two Mindstone into Dismiss. This deck looks amazing. Don't you usually go online later? Yes, I do, but I was awake today. And, um... I feel like I'm also confined by the 2 p.m. Like, sometimes it's like 1.30 and I really want to go live, but, like, I don't because people are expecting me at 2. So it's actually kind of tricky. It's either Dismiss or Chainer's Edict. I think it's actually Dismiss. I kind of like Inquisition here. I also like Archangel Avacyn. And then we can just have, like, Mono Angels deck. What was that noise? What are you doing over there? Causing a ruckus? Just go live whenever. I mean, but people know to, like, they're like, oh, Frank's going to be online at 2, so I'll, I'll start watching it too, you know? It's like, it's... I like Disallow. What if we just, like, go full-on combos? Full-on, full-on... Oh, boy. Mana War and Dragonlord Ojitai? It's got to be Dragonlord Ojitai. I don't think we need a Mana War at this point. I'm going to take the Ojitai. Like, that's the point of consistency. Like, people know when to expect me, so they can, like, be like, hey, you're going to go live at this time, so I'll, I'll tune in. I'm going to take Forsake. I think you discount the amount of notifications you sent out. That's true. That's fair. I don't know. This has been one of the struggles. Like, consistency has been great for me because it gets me to commit to every single day, right? Whereas, like, if I don't have a set time, I'll be like, eh, I can just stream at 4, and then 4 will roll around, and I'll be like, oh, I'm going to do this one thing instead. Uh I'm disappointed in everyone here. I'm going to take Vendillion Click.
but excuse me is right. Disc golfer, thank you so much for the resub. Yeah, but some of us work during the day. We can't watch you while working. That's true. But some people do watch. Some people just watch because they're at work. They're like, "Hey, I always put you up on the on in the background at work," and I'm like, "Cool. I like it." We don't want Thalia. I think we just want Supreme Verdict here. Even Serum Visions should not still be in this pack. I'm going to take the Legacy's Allure because I think it's better. God, we have so many. So many good sideboard options here. Like the one card we can't play, which we actually kind of can because of Blood Cleave Glyphs. Black Cleave Glyphs is Olivia Voldaren. Everything else is blue, white, and black. That's pretty great. Banisher Priest, the Banisher Priest. Everybody loves the Banisher Priest. This is a 60 card deck? It's possible. I could definitely see this being a 60 card deck. We'd have to cut some cards. I think I might just cut the Mimic Fat, to be quite honest. And Temple Garden. That is a late Temple Garden. I feel like a dual land should never be last pick, but what do I know? We have two cuts to make. Oh wow, you're buying Blue Black Death Shadow and Legacy? That's hilarious. Come on, man. Get some class. Play something cool in Legacy, you nerd. Got him. You're so mean to me? <laughs> well, I mean, if you had a little more class, I'd probably be a little more understanding, but... And I keep coming back. I know. I know it. It might be these two artifacts. I don't know if I care a tremendous amount about Coalition Relic. I do like having Mindstone. Maybe I like Coalition Relic better than Mindstone. However, I... The thing is, we have a Disallow on three... Yeah, I think Deluge is probably worse. I, I think this is actually fine like this. We can board the Deluge. Temple Garden, you gotta go. You gotta go. Thanos, that desk is not okay, man. That is barely a desk. Alright, what do we got here? Let's actually sort by Colares. Okay, so we got white, black, blue, black, white, blue. So this all cancels itself out. This is a black card. This is a this has one white symbol. This has one black symbol. It's actually very light on every other color. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is twelve blue. I'm gonna go down to eleven. Uh, black. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That seems more than fine. White. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll add another white. So seven, seven, eleven seems good. Relic better than stone. Relic better than stone is damn my uh 
You know what? It's the name of something. It's the name of a band of mine, I'm sure. I have a band named Relic Better Than Stone. We're a late 90s band. We sound similar to Seven Mary Three, I bet. I have become cumbersome to this world. Bring it up, demonetized. The curve looks a lot better if you move the metamorph over here, but they don't like that, so. Gonna join a match. Oh, Lyra does pump Resto. She also pumps uh, Magister of Worth. Yeah, this sounds great. Gonna cloud skate my way to victory. This is how we do it. Get in there. Yep, that's a dude. You can have a negate. Oh, you took the mountain and the ponder. Fascinating. Hero's downfall. Nice rack. Elk tears, what's going on, buddy? Early bird. See, everyone's like, I didn't expect you on it this time because usually I'm accustomed to your actual correct time. Pondario. The mists of Pondario. I would like to not have... Does Hungry Howies have a brunch menu? They have a lunch menu, but not a brunch menu. No, but Mellow Mushroom does. Why do you know that? <laughs> That's great. That's great. I would love a land here. I would love just three lands in a row. I would feel a lot more comfortable with our, our situation in this game. Them being able to sneak this Jace down is pretty good. Oh, Lil Way 5 is stack? Oh man. Mod City. You gotta I gotta mod all the draft boys. All draft boys get mods. Yeah, I guess we're doing this. Three lands. You're gonna counter this? Why would you do that? I thought we were friends. <clears throat> Please tell Lily Five he has to come to my end of summer bar my end of summer barbecue on Sunday. Stack, you gotta go. Oh, that's wow, you're a real you're a real pizza shit. That's that's a real that's a real thing to do there. You can have a glory bringer.
And you played the mountain. All right, so. Well, we get to kill the Jace, which is nice. Bounce a Gobo. Kill the Jasons. Land. Are you serious right now? I would like to cycle this miscalculation. One, two, three, four. They have six mana. I assume they're going to play a land. I'm going to cross my fingers and hope it's not a Dark Slick Shores. If it's any land, we get to play Go for the Throat. All right, that's pretty good. So now we get to Go for the Throat, their stupid dragon man. I'm your dragon man, your dragon man. Magic Marker Studios. Have a good lunch, buddy. Elk Tears, I don't actually think I've seen your backyard. I would not have guessed you had a big backyard. That doesn't seem like... Oh, God, they're going to kiki jiki us. Oh, that's fascinating. Give me another land, please. We need to have Glenelandra, Archmage, and Glorybringer in hand. I'm going to get rid of this guy because it's a lot of damage to take over the course of however many turns. Oh, they didn't. Interesting. <gasps> wow, that was a good draw. I'm just going to pass here. I think blocking is more in our interest than... Wow, this is a great draw. I have become. I'm actually going to disallow this because I think if they have force spike or dazed, I don't really want to get force spiked or dazed. And now they're deciding which counter spell they're going to use to counter our disallow. And they've decided on. Good old fashioned dissipate. Seems good. I would really like it if we could draw more lands here, but apparently that's not a thing. Lagerburner is pretty good. Kill the Riffling Cloudscape. I was like, that's aggressive. I don't know what's going on here, but... I guess they could have Fire. Or Arc Trail. Sure. I mean, we just can't really compete without having lands right now, so... Yep. 17 lands, a Mind Stone, and a Coalition Relic. And we did not hit many of them.
Let's play first. This hand's got everything I wanted, including a turn three Ashiok. That will likely get dazed, force spiked, or miscalculated. Why is click not good here? I just don't like click, period. I just don't think it's great, especially when they have a bunch of ways to uh, either block it or shoot it for one damage. I think it's definitely worse against the red decks. But I'm also biased. I'm also not a big click fan, so... I mean, that's just... That's me personally. This is actually great for us. They're going to name Blue. And we are going to play Ashiok. And then we're going to resolve it and steal two of your good creatures. Oh, Maloku. Fascinating. We can just dump a Maloku. Seagate Oracle. More like Doo Doo Gate Oracle. What are we hit now? Pia? What are we hitting over here? Into the Royal and Three Mountains? Okay. We'll just keep Factor Fiction up. I'm going to fact here in case we hit days. We did not, but... I... I'm going to take this... I'm going to take these four for sure if you give these... If you give me these four. Uh, we, all five? I'll take all five. I will take these four. Okay, I'll still probably take these three. As long as there's a land with it, I'll take any pile that you three me. That you three me. I like this. This is actually good for them because this is actually tricky. I think the two best cards are on top. But I don't think we need them. I think our bottom cards are very, very good. And we have an Ashiok on board. Interesting. Yeah, we're definitely taking Pile 2. So now we're going to go up to 8 cards. We get to play Land and Dragonlord Ojitai, which is pretty nuts. Um, you can have a recruiter. Nope, you take jet and strand. Sure. Yeah, you get that nightmare weaver. Miscalculation Island Fire Ice. Nothing super exciting. Yep, that is definitely going by itself. <laughs> you can have a Galenal and Gerarch Mage. Wow, Ponder Mountain, okay. Did they play a land here? Not yet. Wow. Alright, so we know four out of the nine cards in your hand. Ah, oh, you played Flood Strand last turn. Okay. Good to know. Alright. And 
jet is gone. And Ponder's gone. Oh, you guys are you guys are so clever. You guys are so clever. Okay, so we have Mountain and six other unique unique cards. I'm just gonna keep exiling. You're at eleven cards in your deck right now, so. Three lands. Fascinating. I don't think we're just going to play Grave Titan. I think we're going to swing with Dragonlord Ojitai here. We'll see what happens. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're definitely taking Cryptic Command. We hit the miscalculation, so we can actually preordain here. Bottom, top. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> Double counter spells? Sure. Huge fan of Monkito now, so I'll become a much smaller fan soon. That is how that works. That is a. That is a real thing. Snapcaster, what do you what do you even target here? Magma Jet? Ponder? Magma Jet? Okay. Ponder. Okay. <laughs> oh man. So I got a comment today on YouTube. And they said, sword over ob? I stopped watching after that. And I was like, I can't tell if you're serious. So I just did the waving emoji. And then someone else said, I just watched streamers to see them make the exact same picks I would make. Only then I become a medium fan. And I was like, well played. Well played. Once you throw the medium fan meme in there, I'm, I'm on board. Once you say, like, big fan, medium fan, you know, whatever, if you say any kind of, like, fan, any kind of fan meme in your comment, I automatically know uh, that you're coming from a, a, a supportive place. And you can pretty much get away with saying anything, like, hey, I don't like your mom, I think she's kind of a jerk, medium fan. I'd be like, okay, you're just kidding, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm gonna dismiss you. And then we're gonna go to game three. Oh, Ashiok. They have eight cards left. They're going to have five after I activate this Ashiok again. Boy. Glory bringer. Yum. They have five cards left. That's pretty sad. Oh, days. main one two three four so we can spend three mana we can actually just play a seagate oracle here one two three nope you eat it one two three oh actually that's not great because we're just gonna get another card Ugh. i guess if we can hit it we can hit a land right nope we played a land this turn well this is a hot mess Whatever, I guess we'll discard something. I discarded Riftwing Cloudscape because I didn't want them to get back like Magister or Grave Tight. I don't I don't know why I did it doesn't matter. I feel like this game is relatively academic at this point, especially when we have days in Cryptic Command, but We could have also theoretically gotten Glorybringer and attacked for 9 in the air, but I don't really see the point. 
if they have any removal spell, this makes this worse. They also have they have two cards in hand. Their answers to uh, having one card in their library seemed less likely than their answers to a four four flyer. So. I don't know what their deck does. We saw a bunch of cards, but... Uh, I actually like this hand a lot. We get to keep a Misdirection, a Go for the Throat, and a Baleful Strix, all of which are very playable. Sure. Not a fan at all, zero fandom, but that means, but you get the memes, so you are a fan. <laughs> good times, good times. I'm not a big fan of Ponder on turn one, just because you don't know what you're looking for. In later turns, it's a very low-cost investment to... Uh, find a specific card you might need. Taunt us with the, with the humble brags about the sub count. That's pretty funny. I'm a fan of that. Subtle bragged, humble brag earned. This is a, uh, Difficult to ponder, it seems. Chose not to shuffle. All right. My turn one, significantly more boring. Dang, Cold Steel Heart every game. I'm actually just going to keep a miscalculation. If I don't want them to go Jace or Chandra next turn. I think this is fine. They might be looking for a third land. Eh, and they were, which is pretty sweet. Give me a daze. Eh, Dark Slick Shores. All right, I'll take it. Resto on Baleful Strix is also something cool. Muff89, glad you think so. Really appreciate it. Oh, a snapper. A little snapperino, eh? We're going to resto. Hopefully they just go snapper into ponder. let hit their land drop. And then we can, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna attack and we're gonna resto this guy. They might have a misdirection here, miscalculation rather. They might also have dissipate, both of those are options. Apparently they don't. We are gonna get to blink, we are gonna get to draw a card, and we are gonna get to eat your guy. All of these are okay things. Yep. Like you do. What up, Noble Phoenix? Good to see you again, buddy. I wish we had more action right now. One, two, three, four, five. Five to nine. What a way to make a living.
I don't think is I don't think Mike B is generous, Mike. That doesn't make any sense. He is. I mean, he's not not generous, but like, he doesn't have any overarching overarching generous qualities. Sarah, what's going on, buddy? I uh, I don't know if I forgot to put the mountains in the deck. I, uh, it, I it wasn't so much forgot. I think it was more I set them on fire so that they would never come near the deck. Very very similar. Uh... Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go for the throat this guy. I don't care about your 1-1s. One and I'd like to save Magister in case you have like a... <laughs> really? So we're probably just gonna win in the air, that's the goal here, I think. That was a good draw. Joke's on you, they were already on fire. That's a good point. I had not considered that. That's a good... It's a solid flavor reference there. That I overlooked. Which makes me sad. Hungry Howie Bot, welcome back. Um, so what do you have? Inferno Titan, maybe? Inferno Titan kills anyway. So does Fire Ice. So I'll just block here. If you have Fire Ice, it's fine. Actually, we can counter the Fire Ice, which leaves us as a 1 1. Yep, that's fine. All right, lands, we get it. Wow, hearing you hearing you compliment Cryptic Command is pretty sick. Oh uh, no, no, you just want to keep that dude. All right. Go to eight. Play this tapped. Do we have Sphinx's Rev in our deck? I think we do. We have a Sphinx's Rev in our deck, right? That was one of the white cards we took along with Magister of Worth. I mean, we have not seen one yet. That's true. I did ask for lands two games ago. That's frustrating. Well, Sphinx's Rev is worse now. <laughs> I'm just going to block with Baleful Strix here. Oh. No. Just get in there with everything. Stop being a baby. Those two, huh? Okay. Just one? Just both. What's going on here? Just that guy. Huh, <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. Because of how good it is. What do they do? Just triple block our resto? One, two, three, four. Five. 
four five lifelink seems pretty nutso nutso in the butt so as they say that's okay with me sure would help a lot what does magister do i'm gonna i'm gonna pull it up and you guys can check it out uh we block with sphinx because we block with um we block a Baleful Strix because it trades anyway for a 2-1, so it's trading up. Uh, also, we were planning on playing Magister Worth at some point, so we wanted to preserve our life total because Baleful Strix is just going to die anyway, so we want to get value out of it. Uh, also, like, it, they don't have bigger guys. Like, one of the only bigger guys we've seen is Glorybringer, which is going to just kill it on the spot anyway. It's just going to deal it four, so it's never going to be able to block a Glorybringer. So we're either trading with a 1-1, one, one, or we're trading with a 2-2 two, two that becomes a 1-1, one, one, or we're trading with a P and Kieran Alar. So, like, it doesn't really do anything on this board. It's not going to get through. They're just going to block with a Thopter. So I'd rather just take a body off the board and... Come on. <laughs> you know better than that. That's not great, but it is a thing, right? Sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? 27 life. That's pretty good. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Alright, land. I actually have no idea what's in your hand. You have five cards. That's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inferno Titan would be great because we can actually just daze it. That would be so sick, dude. Biscuits. Yeah, what are you going to do? That's life. That's what all the people say. Tap one more. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we're having a good time now, you see. All right, both of these are lethal. You have nothing to sacrifice. Inferno Titan doesn't kill us. Glorybringer kills neither of these. That kills one. Oh, that does kill the Lyra, which makes this better. Ooh, that's bad. Mm, that's pretty bad. I mean, we're at 32 life. We are pretty healthy here. Oh, that's pretty good. I guess we attack Nahiri. God, Magister are worse bad right now because I don't want to trade. I just don't want to trade my threat for their threat. Because then we're just trading Magister for Restoration Angel and killing these three. But then if they have a glory bringer, just straight up, yep, that's what we we're afraid of. Um, I actually think we let it kill the rest, though. We take the damage, and then we play Magister. And then we can keep up Disallow. We take 8, but we go to 20, so... 
big deal. What do we vote for? Uh, condemnation. Because we don't want them to get back like Glenelg or Archmage or something. Or Siege Gang. Siege Gang Commander. Let's see what they vote for. I will vote for... What? Right? If Condemnation gets more votes, the vote is tied. Yep, Condemnation. And next turn we get the Grave Titan. Wanted to play this before Grave Titan, because A, it's lethal on its own, and B, Grave Titan would just die if we played Magister Worth. So that seems bad. Let's get the value out of the Magister. Keep up Disallow. Okay. Nay. GG's. Oh, you're not going to give me the GG's? Okay. Well, too bad. Can Grave Titans die? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Oh, uh, this hand is great. All the colors, two drop, three drop, four drop, counter spell, double counter spell, triple counter spell. You want to go where everybody knows you. Medium phantom mode? How do you even make that? Hanger back for one, huh? I want my hanger back, hanger back, hanger back. We could also just play Baleful Strix. I think it's better to play this guy. Joke's on you. Grave Titan's already dead. Okay, well... Ooh. Tempted to just play Baleful Strix. Also kind of tempted to copy this guy. I think we're just going to Baleful Strix here. That was a good draw. Boing, 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 boing. Gas. Four mana Planeswalker. They have two cards in hand. We have six. Yeah, I'm game. I'll take one. Boy, oh boy. Uh -huh. Time to just play Metamorph, but we have Disallow, so I'm just going to keep up Disallow. God, Force Spike is so OP, man. Can't imagine they're coming over with a hangerback walker again. Didn't think so. We could Sphinx's Rev for none here. I think we're just gonna play this guy for free. What do you mean for free? You, you committed two mana to it. I'm just gonna bounce hangerback walker. They get to play it for more value, but we get to counter it, so that's fine. You wanna go where everybody knows your name? Do I even care about this? They have two cards. One is a hanger back walker. This is fine. Like, we're just going to run Glenelg and Archmage out there if they don't take it, so whatever.
Well, they took it. Do we just metamorph copy the Riftwing Cloudscape? I guess we can keep up compulse or keep up uh, disallow. Hmm. We can have one of their two cards, we just hang our back. So if their other card is a land. Like, we can basically just sit here and not do anything for a little bit. We're just hoping to draw land next turn. Hang her back for one. Uh, that's fine. I think by the time this is actually a threat, we can deal with it in other ways. I don't care about that. Uh, we actually can't cryptic at all because of the triple blue mana. Unless that's what you mean by cryptic for zero. Okay, and that's not what we're looking for. Let's compulsive here. Oh. Uh, let's get rid of a land. Play a land. And I'm just going to pass here. Because what else can we do? Not attacking into their Geist of Saint draft. It's like next time we can play Relic and keep up. Ooh, attacking with a Wandering Fumeral. That's aggressive. Pretty sure 100% blocking their, their man land. I mean, if, if I can put you off of lands, that's totally fine. Yep, that was a good draw. Do we just play Lyra and or Grave Titan? Not and, but or Grave Titan here? Grave Titan seems pretty good when they have one card in hand. And, like, they could have... They knew we, we couldn't counter anything last turn, so... I'm going to assume... That they're, uh, they would have run out their best card last turn. Oh, all right, game has ended. <laughs> Our grip is disallow, metamorph, sphinx's rev, cryptic command, lyra, and they have one card. Seems good. Excuse me while I need some losing game. What did we see? Guys of St. Traft. What else? What else? What else? Vendillion Click. Hangerback Walker. Forsake is good because it exiles Hangerback Walker. Great Walker in the best colors in Magic? What in the earth? Who are you and what have you done with Sarah C? I don't think you know how Magic colors work. I don't know if we should sideboard anything to be quite honest. I think we're actually fine. I think our deck is good. I'm Demir now. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's just great. This hand is terrible, unfortunately. I don't want to open with five drops Sphinx's Rev. And, uh... Okay, this is better. Uh, you know, I'll keep that on top and uh, we'll just draw our Ashiok. They also went to... No, they didn't. I was like, they also went to six. No, they just played a land. That's not the same at all. Only something like two percent of your cells need to die for an organism to be considered dead. Effectively, a body can be ninety percent living, but actually, that's not—that's disconcerting. Ha! 
How much for draft tips? I usually 35. I do 35 because, uh, you know, I'm paying for the draft. It's like two hours, and a lot of times you are not guaranteed winning anything if you do a stip. So, um, but I mean, it's negotiable. It's whatever. It's usually I, I usually just use that as a way for people to support the stream that want to. Okay, this hand got uh, surprisingly good. Oh, maybe you were always Demir and you just didn't know it. Yeah, that's not happening. Glad you did not have a mana tithe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't care about that. Not gonna not gonna land that jit, that's for sure. This is a good card. Any land, and we get to play either one of these ladies. Ladies, when you actually Doja is a gentleman, so my bad. Oh, rally Zally. Oh, wow, that was good. That was a very good turn. I'm impressed. However. This boy's got hexproof. I see. Well then. Hmm. Huh. Well, this is awkward. I am gonna attack your face, I believe. You're just gonna block, right? Yeah, I just want the card. Do we just trade Ojatoozles? Ojatoozles! If I had to go for the throat, I might... Tap this guy. Tap your team. Attack into rally rallies. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, oh Baleful Strix is a nice little hit there. However, however, here's the problem. If we play Baleful Strix, we can't keep up. They can also just Ral Zarek the Baleful Strix. I think we just take Elspeth based on, based on power level. Keep up Cryptic Command. We also Lyra and Preordain, which is nice. Like, they have two cards. You might just be wanting to commit to the board. I do kind of like that. I also like if they play something tapping their team and countering it or bouncing Rao. Yeah, I'm going to keep up Cryptic Command. It just seems too good at this point. We have two cards in hand. They might not do anything. What's up, Sarov? Well, considering Ral's Eric's almost at seven, I would probably definitely bounce Ral's Eric.
Elspeth is during Ojutai is not great because she goes to one, then they either kill it with Ral Zarek or they just attack it with Flicker Wisp. Or they attack it with Neil Spires. Like we just I'd rather just we can control the board a much much more efficiently than than that. The problem is even if we tap down their Ojutai, they get to still Yeah, that's rough. They get to untap it with Ral Zarek if they want to. Yeah, this is bad. I know mean, is a hell of a card. All right. Add a blue. If you want to go to the end step, let's do it. Let's go to the end step. That actually is pretty obnoxious because now we can't do it during the end step. Three cards. That's pretty good. Oh, now we're talking. Well, we don't get to draw, but we do get to hit a little rallies, Alley. Preordain. Restoration Angel is actually very good here. Oh, wow. So is Metamorph. I'm going to keep both of these on top. Yeah, I'm going to keep up Dismissed Days and Resto. Blinking, blinking Ojutai is pretty gas. Whoa, 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 we all love mm -hmm. Do we know any of the cards in their hand? I don't think so. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Whatever this is, is going to resolve, probably. Maybe. They also have eight damage on the board. Ral's Eric's another three, so we got to kind of be careful of that. One white the Manu. One blue Manu. That question is not correct. That quote is is completely inaccurate. My opinion of you has decreased. Well, that's unfortunate. Dang it. Oh 
my god, let's go. Yeah, that's fine. I can't do anything about that. Sure. Okay, I see what's happening now. Well, both are going to die, so I might as well make sure to kill both. We can just trade two for two here. Clears the board. They get a pretty mediocre Ralzaric, and then we get to untap with an Elspeth. That's pretty good. And we're going to top take a Metamorph, too. And we get to keep up Daze. That's a pretty nice... Sure. Uh-oh. Okay. Actually, maybe Lyra is the correct play here. Nah, it's Elspeth. Yep. I do not have two mana. Well, that was sad. The Ralzaric actually made a difference there. Wow, is it charm? That's brutal. Do you see this double circle? Yeah, sure. Don't one ones block double striking dual lands pretty pretty efficiently? Let's see if they see it. They might miss it. It's not super obvious. Dazing the Izzard Charm doesn't do anything when they have a free... when they can just tap mana in, right? Like... Yeah, even if we played Lyra, we still wouldn't have a second mana up for Is It Charm. Is It Charm can't counter creatures, though, can it? Yeah, we could have actually. Yeah, actually, Lyra would have been a significantly better choice. <clears throat> we could block this pretty efficiently. Let's see if they see it. I'm sure they'll see it. Yep. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty okay. Yeah, now we're definitely bringing in Legacies of Lord. They have some pretty sweet creatures in their deck. Still have yet to see Sphinx's Revelation. Uh, I want to be cutting. I don't actually want to cut anything, to be quite honest. I think all our cards are very, very good. Slam that keep button. Oh boy. Bring in Olivia. I don't know if we're doing that. Oh, what we are doing is Ashiokin though. Turn three so they'll have two mana out. No matter what counter spell they have, we can daze it. Should resolve pretty easily.
Didn't play Tundra in case they have like some random wasteland or something. You got it. Hanger back walker and a Gideon. Here we go. And if they have like an oblivion ring, we got a daze for it. Eh, that's fine. We have a go for the throat and a Glenelinger Archmage here, so I'm not terribly concerned. Electrolyze, Cold Steel Heart, and a Jace. Sure. Yeah, I feel like we are in a pretty commanding position. Shut up and take my money. One Demir for life book. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it and agree with the sentiment. Ashiok on seven. Seems pretty, uh, one of these jobbies. Ah, oh, you know, the thing is, the thing is, no, no, we're not doing this. So long. Oh, Rivaderci. <laughs> okay, I just figured out who Sarah Sarav Demir Mastermind is, and I'm I'm lolling right now because it's pretty ridiculous. What do we get? Nothing good. Three lands. Dang. I don't even want to attack because they have one. They can just land Wandering Fumeral attack Ashiok for five. I think we're much better just sitting behind Ashiok here. Because now we have a way to deal with creatures, and we have a way to deal with two spells, so. The old Darechi. I don't know how it did take so long. I didn't, can you, did you change your username? Because you're still a mod and you still have the sub badge. I'm not sure if you just like, I didn't know you could change your username. Yeah, that's fine. It's not great, but uh, it's okay. Give me an Ojitai. No Ojitai, Ral, Jace. Oh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Better than all. I kind of just want to, yeah, you know what we're doing here? You know what's going on here, guys? Are we copying Glenelinger Archmage or Jitte? Jitte. Ooh. I mean, we left the shields down, but we get a Jitte out of it. So it's kind of like a yeah, give and take. We also, we've also hit most of the Planeswalkers. Jace Architect, Jace the Mind Sculptor, Gideon, and Ral Zarek. So, um. I'm going to make sure you don't deal any damage. Because being able to go negative 10 Ashiok next turn when you have five cards in hand... It's not bad. It's not bad. Pretty, 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 pretty good. 
Yeah, you got it. You better play all those cards, buddy. You got it. Oh boy. Let's get rid of all your things first. Ojitai and Flicker Whisper in your hand. That's pretty cool. I'm just going to pass here. Um, I don't want them to attack. If we go for the throat now, they're likely going to attack with both. Just activate Fumarole and kill Ashiok. If we wait to go for the throat, they might only attack with Glenelg or Archmage. Which looks like they are going to do. So now we get to go for the throat. This, keep our Ashiok, presumably. Yep, that was pretty good. And now we just get to either slam this, yep, exile your cards. Oh, got the Locust God? <laughs> uh, I don't think you top decked. I guess we could just play it safe though, right? Why not? And that's the game. Our deck is pretty sweet. I'm okay with our deck. Get Glenn in here. The Alendra Archmage is probably yeah. That sounds that sounds pretty pretty likely. Kind buds, what's going on, buddy? This hand is great because of compulsive research, so that's pretty funny. It's gonna be pretty easy getting rid of a land here. Oh man, Toxic Deluge, Supreme Verdict time. Oh, I like that. You gonna get in there? Still jobless and single. <laughs> oh, I laughed at it. Not because I, I I mean not because it's funny, but because you made it funny. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Yeah, you feel me. Oh I love getting value off of Gotham's. Suck on them eggs, you egg sucker. Yeah, we're just going to compulsive here. All right, we'll discard one land. And next turn we can go Mind Stone into Go for the Throat and Preordain. That's pretty good. That was a hell of a turn. Crying out loud. Mother of God. Well, we're definitely killing mom. Oh, God, it sounds so bad when you say it like that. Uh, bottom and top. Two, three, four. And we can still play Ojitai even if we daze here, which is nice. Oh boy. Are we seriously going to get to day of something? Nope. I guess not.
Why would you tap all your lands? I guess because you're floating. That makes sense. I'm so tired of losing to Armageddon in this cube. I don't think we can win this game when they have an onboard Garrick. They're going to have five power. And we're starting from zero. We're just going to go to the next game. I don't even feel like dealing with that. Like, so next turn we play a land. They attack us for five. Can't do anything. We play a land. They attack us for, for seven. Play a land. Like, then we're dead. Deluge can come in. Linvala can come in over Resto. Take out the Compulsive. I feel like it's a little too slow. Vendillion Click can come in because I want to take your things. We have a lot of counter spells too. I think our deck is actually good against this. Like we have Daze, Miscalculation, Disallow, Vendillion Click, Cryptic Command, Dismiss. Like we have a lot of answers to a. Uh... Yeah, keep. We don't have a black mana, but that's okay. That's okay. I think drafting more indestructible lands is a good start. I'm so tired of this friggin' card. God, Draga Tree Speaker is so unassumingly good. Yeah, that's fine. Nobody cares about it. Tarmogov's pretty stupid here. I'm not going to suspend Cloud Skate here because I just don't think it's good. Are they going to Armageddon right now? <laughs> yeah, get the hell out of here with that. Come on, dude. I guess Tarmogov's to 2-3 now. Why don't you play your land? I guess you, you know, obviously you don't play your land first because you're gonna because you're gonna ravage the war, but it seems weird not. Actually, do I want to play this or do I just want to play Glenelinger Archmage? Probably just playing Archmage because we can just riff wing. I don't think a three four is super exciting. I'd rather metamorph Archway Arch Archmage or Riffling Cloudscape. Here comes Armageddon one more time. Sure. <sighs> Fifth land would have been nice when we have three five drops in our hand, but such is life. I think that's probably better because we can persist and copy something else if we want. Ravages War is already in the graveyard. There we go. Rex Age. Seems good. Copy Rex Age. Kill your Parallax Wave. Oh, that's great, because if they exiled this with the trigger on the stack, I guess they couldn't have done that, right? All right, now Tarmogov's pretty sizable. I think we can still just take a hit. Oh, boy. Let's not, let's not skip our turn entirely. How about that? Okay. I mean, Lyra feels pretty good here. 
I assume they're gonna fauna shaman something. They're gonna get something with fauna shaman that we can't counter anyway, so. They played Armageddon the first game, so we now they have both. I like Lyra because they might have a hard time killing it, and it, it gets us back in the game. I like Cloudscape because it gives us some time to deal with the Tarmogoyf. I'm going to Lyra here. Discard Mother of Runes. What can you get here? Whisperwood? Yeah, that's fine. Annoying, but mediocre, I think. This time we will block. Crater is in this cube. It was in our last deck, actually. Crater Dad. Bright eyes. This is the same deck from earlier. This is the, our second deck today. So if that is the one you're asking about, then the answer is yes. Turn around, Crater Dad. Oh, we're definitely attacking here. Uh, did I get my Spider-Man yet? Not yet. It's actually being delivered today along with the sweet PlayStation 4. Turn around, creator dad. And I bounce them all tonight. I can bounce them all than ever. I'm gonna bounce this guy because I want you to commit the five mana again next turn. You can just block Tarmogoyf. I don't care about that. Typical crater dad went out to get some smokes. He totally did. We'll never be back. I'm waiting for it. Come on, Spider-Man. I haven't played all of Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 yet, so I would have some catching up to do. Can't imagine they attack with that many things. Oh, they do. Really? Let's block here and block here. We'll take four. Or we can block here and take eight. Uh, I think that's fine. This game two. Did we get crushed game one or is this game three? I don't. We got Armageddon game one. Yep, that's correct. So you play that. Oh, that's very good. So they have six guys. We have... They have five guys. We have three blockers. So we can go block, block, block. Elspeth would survive. And then we have Rev next turn. So Elspeth would take, what, three at most? Go to two. Uh, we drafted a Supreme Verdict and a Toxic Deluge. They, we know they have Mentor in hand. And they regrowth Parallax Wave to kill us. Fucking amazing. All right, cool. Well, that's fun. Nice. Yep, awesome. Not sure why you got rid of the Angel too, but I guess you're just can't press your buttons fast enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And if you want to support me on Twitch or Patreon, both of the links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time.